<laughs> Who's afraid? I'm kind of afraid. I'm like almost in disbelief <laughs> that this is like a debut. Hello friends, it's Elsie. Welcome to my channel if you are new and if you're returning, welcome back. I am excited. Get it? I am excited. <laughs> to be continuing with my D-Idol coverage on this channel by going all the way back to the beginnings of G Idol, their debut album, I Am. So we're gonna get into the debut music video, La Ta Ta, and we're gonna check out some B-sides. I haven't heard any G Idol B-sides at this point. I am very, very curious to see how this group got its start, because the start really sets the tone for the group. It's what, you know, makes that impact. And groups when they debut have to set themselves apart. They have to make it clear what is different about this group compared to every other group out there. So I very much got a sense of what that is in the music videos that I reacted to in my first time reaction of, you know, a self-producing group, not afraid to tackle controversial topics, really strong vocals, a lot of intensity, and you know, I could go on, but <laughs> I'm curious to see if that comes across in their debut. So shall we get into it but before we do please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel later all righty so for my beverage of the day today i have a hot chocolate bomb so on the inside of this are a bunch of little mini marshmallows and i've got some hot water i don't know if you can see the steam coming up <laughs> So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I was like, oh, I can show it on camera, but I have to fully <laughs> tilt it sideways. Maybe we'll tilt the camera down. Well, you get to see my sweatpants and <laughs> my laptop. So let's try this, see how it works. Eee, it's melting. It's melting. Whoa. <laughs> All the marshmallows just appeared at once. Oh, there <laughs> <laughs> They're just popping up. Oh my gosh, I love this. And what's fun about this mug is that the little tree turns into a gnome when it's warm. But yeah, let's take a sip. Hmm, it kind of just tastes like a melted chocolate bar. <laughs> Doesn't really quite taste like hot chocolate. Yeah, it's like a chocolate bar in liquid form. And then all the marshmallows melted. <laughs> immediately okay first of all we are going to dive into the music video for la ta ta which came out on may 2nd 2018 and so what's the theme going to be here what are they going to do here to make their mark as rookies let's find out with la ta ta Ooh. Groovy. So yeah, I'm gonna get started. I really like the vibe so far. Mm. Ooh, I like those vocals. <laughs> that like a little baby wink. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she getting kidnapped? Dancing for you, trapping me. <laughs> hmm. They seem like very edgy in this. Every day, every night, la ta hmm. They very much just like draw you in. Like it's hard to deny their just presence from day one in this because the whole time I was just like so engaged by everything they were doing. And like, yes, they looked beautiful and were serving looks, but it felt like so much more than just 
that especially with some of these lyrics like within the darkness red light searching left right walking on fire we're about to ignite who's afraid like oh with lyrics like this they just come across from the beginning as just so fearless and fierce and then uh oh and we start to fall deeper the fragrance of you which i got addicted gets mixed like this that's right more and more set it on fire as if we don't have tomorrow <laughs> and then that hand with the pink nail polish just grabs her and like pulls her in as if it's like that feeling and getting sucked in by it literally <laughs> and saying i'm singing for you to fall deeper it feels like sirens of you know singing to ships like come closer my voice is beautiful and draws you in and then <laughs> smash on the rocks is that what they're trying to do to me oh my gosh i'm a little worried <laughs> And then, you know, they take it a step further when they say, I'm dancing for you, trapping you, like they're making it clear <laughs> what their intentions are. And then saying la ta ta as if it's like their spell and just repeating it as if it's like, you know, the pendulum that hypnotists use. Yeah, they're really not playing around <laughs> with this debut, are they? Saying like, I'm going to pull you in and never let you go. <laughs> and, you know, it's certainly working so far, at least for <laughs> for me so okay i'm very very excited to hear what soyeon's first rap is and how she like crashes onto the scene with her rapping here still too basic <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 And playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like that choreography. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be saying that for the rest of the day. Every day, every night, left Hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Who's afraid? I'm kind of afraid. <laughs> <laughs> How does she manage to look so innocent there? <laughs> okay, maybe not with a hat on fire. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. She was just like so on fire that she literally set fire. So first of all, I love that Soyeon's rap here just felt like a little taste of what's to come, you know? She's not like throwing it all in your face immediately right away, everything she like has in her arsenal, especially when she says, and this is still too basic, dig a little deeper. It feels like she's saying like there's so much more to come and you don't even know what you're in for. So when Sujin sang <laughs> Who's afraid? Like, I am afraid. Everybody should be afraid, especially their haters. But then I love that even though they're doing this kind of like, I will draw you in kind of thing, they're still able to be like cheeky and have fun and have these sequences of them with like the golf and the video games. They're showing a lot of range in this debut and I like it. Like this doesn't feel like a debut, <laughs> if you know what I mean. This feels like a seasoned group. And I like how the song itself as well doesn't feel super try hard because <laughs> I feel like it can be really tempting for a group to want to try to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks for a debut but the instrumental it feels kind of like 
a groove, almost like a tropical type of beat to it. Kind of like something you would groove to in the car on a summer evening. <laughs> and really emphasize that thing of like, we don't need to do a million things, like this huge song and dance to impress you. Like we are us and we will draw you in and you will be left wanting more. And that is exactly what I want. <laughs> I want more! And that's exactly what we're gonna get by continuing on in this album. But overall, super, super strong debut. I'm so impressed. And I'm excited to keep going with this is... Uh. Oh, God. I don't know where that came from. Our next song is $3 Signs, or at least that's how it's listed on Spotify. And so for this next handful of songs, since there was no music video or content that I can react to on YouTube that is safe, you know, excluding KBS, excluding Mnet type of content, we're going to react to some lyric videos. So this one is from Jay Gucci. And so with a song with $3 Signs, I can't imagine <laughs> this would be a ballad necessarily maybe like a banger like a rap banger we get some more soyeon heat so i'm excited to get into my first g Addle b-side here with dollar so let's do it mm. <laughs> sounds like siri Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> She's just gonna... She's just gonna start a song like that and give me no warning. Just completely come from my neck like that. <laughs> I was so unprepared, oh my goodness. Here I was, so excited for my first G Idol B-side and then Soyeon just like threatens my life like that. Oh my gosh, like we have to go back. Like right off the bat, knock knock, Soyeon enters above your head spotlight. Except knock knock feels like a warning, but I got no warning here. <laughs> That she was just absolutely gonna crush it. <laughs> You're no different than those other Gullivers that pretend to be great. It's evident shamelessly. You idiots think that you can get this body. Oh, otaku bookworm, your identity, nobody can follow me. The men interested in those girls, blah, blah, blah. My role model is Einstein, the light of creativity, the unique color of the millions of dollars. You can't buy my time. We are different from birth. So is she saying here like, I can't be bought. I am way too smart for that. <laughs> if so, queen, I stand. And she's like, I'm gonna earn my own money. Like, <laughs> I don't need a sugar daddy. You know, smart, creative, well read. Clearly she has a lot to bring to the table. But now I want to go back to the beginning because I feel like I blacked out after like the first line. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's start over. <laughs> Took a turn. <laughs> hmm. This instrumental almost feels like teasing, you know? It's like, you think I'm this cute doll? I'll show you. Hmm. Unique is right. <laughs> This is cool. <laughs> okay, so maybe they are interested in a sugar daddy, but it has to be a billion dollars. <laughs> Dollar. 
Dollar. Dollar. Dollar. Oh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I just started coughing, so I had to pause, but I'm gonna keep going. Learn manners. You tell him, man. <laughs> I love this that they're saying, like, you play by my rules if you want to be. <laughs> I love this instrumental. I just want to like dance. <laughs> Try not to shake the best. I'll do as I please, so what? Yeah, I'm loving the no-nonsense attitude. Oh, I love that. That was such an interesting song. I very much love the energy that they are giving in this of like, I'm not to be played with. <laughs> and you know, if you are a one in a million girl, or I guess one in a billion, <laughs> maybe in this situation, like me, then you have to treat me with respect. I mean, treating someone with respect should be the bare minimum <laughs> for any relationship. So you can't just treat me like poop and expect me to follow, like you're the one who's gonna follow me. I hope a lot of women or just people in general are inspired by g Idol's message to not let themselves be treated like garbage. Cause you know, I've been there. I've been in a relationship where someone treated me like garbage and I let it happen. But don't worry, this was not my marriage. <laughs> this was long before that. So I could have used the song like this at the time. I could have used this reminder from G Idol. So I hope that that message has, you know, helped people to not allow themselves to be treated like crap. I hope so. I mean, it's hard to imagine that G Idol haven't had like a really positive impact because of the very few songs that I've heard from them so far and how, you know, their message has just already hit so close to home for me. So yeah, I'm just loving this energy, especially from a debut, like, wild. Oh, and the song itself is catchy too. <laughs> I feel like I just talked about the lyrics and the message, but the song itself was catchy as hell. I feel like this is definitely going in the playlist. But okay, let's get on to our next song here, which is Maze. So how do they follow up Dollar with Maze? Maybe we get something a bit more low-key here. I feel like now since we're halfway into the album that maybe, you know, we go to a bit more low-key and then bring the energy back up. And this is a lyric video from Opa Moo. So let's get into Maze. Hmm. Hmm. A little bit more low key. Hmm. I like their vocals on this one. And those guitars. Oh. Mm. Oh. Ooh. I like this one. I've liked all of them. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. 
So this is kind of like the opposite of the first song where it's like more about them drawing you in and now they're saying they are trapped in the maze. Like saying your deep stare takes me far away. Your racy voice steals my heart. And Soyeon can't find the way out. I hear the calling from deep inside. You hid in the darkness attracting me. And when I look at your eyes, I forget everything but you. So the tables have turned. But I really like the instrumental for this song too. I feel like it complements their vocals so well. Well, which I feel like is really important to show off in a debut album is the members vocals and you know a little bit of what they can do while again still leaving people wanting more and I feel like they've really done that here especially like with Yuki's voice at this part and Mini too <laughs> Yeah, it just like sounds so full and like lush, but let's keep going here. Beautiful guitar sounds. Hmm. Hmm. Tickles my heart. Hmm. Trap yourself in. Ooh. Me on two. <laughs> is it just me or is Shua get? She's like not getting any lines. Now the turntables have... The tables turned back. Yeah, I love this instrumental. It's kind of like La Fata in terms of that summer evening vibe. Yeah, that was a freaking, these are, these songs are all so like freaking cool. <laughs> like, I don't feel like I'm cool enough to be listening to, <laughs> to be listening to their music. Just with their really strong vocals and Soyeon's rapping, the instrumental, like it's all just such a vibe. This honestly doesn't feel like a debut at all. It feels like a group that has firmly established their identity, which I feel like for some groups can take a bit of time, but I feel it. <laughs> like I feel it very firmly. I'm caught in their maze. <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up. But okay, we're gonna move on to the next song here, which is Don't Text Me. La Ta Ta was the pull and then <laughs> there was the push with Dollar and then there's the pull again. And now I feel like Don't Text Me might be another push. <laughs> so are we gonna get another kind of like diss track song similar to Dollar or maybe something else entirely? Let's go with Don't Text Me. Hmm. Hmm. You're angry. <laughs> you and I are nothing special. Hmm. Hmm. I like this instrumental, it's very dreamy. Oh. 
I like the lower register. <laughs> Please erase my number. They're saying you and me was history. So it seems like they're getting a call from someone who doesn't seem to understand that the relationship is over. And Soyeon is full on pissed about it. <laughs> saying, do you think the relationship you thought was light, tired, sigh and spit? Don't you know it was the end? I guess I didn't know you any more than I thought, but I don't even want to know anymore. But I want to know what happened, like spill the tea. <laughs> is this still the same person from Dollar? And then it seems like they're trying to say like, stick with the good memories and then then goodbye. Very like thank you next. <laughs> but alright, let's continue. <laughs> Am I that easy? Ooh. <laughs> I like that. Whoop, whoop. This feels a lot more subdued than Dollar though. Like, you know, Sayan was saying she was angry, but you can also sense like the sadness in it too. Mm. The sound of the buzzing in the background. So she wants to latch on to the good. So don't make it worse. <laughs> I raised my number. Like I want to have fond memories of this, so you should want the same thing. Wow, this is like, I feel like it's a very mature album, if that makes sense. Like it's coming from a very emotionally mature place for a debut group. Because Soyan in particular was really expressing like complex emotions about this, where she was saying initially she was angry, but then in the second verse she's saying it was painful, but I don't want to erase it for some reason, where she really wants to cling on to those good memories, where you know, the emotionally immature <laughs> reaction in this case would be to pick up the phone and scream at this person and be like, leave me the f alone but she's just letting it be in this situation and when she's like in her feelings she's not addressing it so yeah i'm just like blown away i still i'm like almost in disbelief <laughs> that this is like a debut really hitting on some powerful stuff from day one it just makes me that much more excited to get further into their discography because like if this is the debut if this is the very beginning before they've done all kinds of growth and been involved in the industry for like a couple of years. I feel like I'm just scratching the surface and it's very exciting. But all right, next we have What's in Your House? Hmm, I have no idea <laughs> what this song could be about. And so this lyric video was uploaded by K Sector. So we had the pull and the push and the pull and the push. Is this gonna be the pull again? <laughs> uh, is this relationship truly well and over and done or are we back in the fold? Let's find out. <laughs> Drink is empty. <laughs> kind of like R&B vibes for this first album, mostly. Like R&B poppy. <laughs> oh. 
so very much back to Paul. <laughs> Are they spying on somebody? <laughs> Sparkle unicorns, this. <laughs> Sparkle unicorns and puppies and hand soap. I feel like this is the inside of my brain so far. I'm very concerned. <laughs> I really hope they're not spying on this person. Like, see what's inside just from the window. So they're feeling this like very intensely <laughs> and I'm really hoping, I think, I don't think <laughs> they were, you know, talking about staring into somebody's window and spying on them from afar, but I'm trying to think of like I've ever wondered what someone I've dated's like room or house looked like, but there's this great quote. I have no idea who said it. I literally saw it on Tumblr like 15 years ago. <laughs> and it stuck with me was if you go to sleep with somebody and they don't have any books on their bedside table don't have sex with them like no books on their bedside table is a red flag but i think other than that there's nothing that i would kind of wonder about but this is fascinating to me is this like a thing is this something you've thought about or like a sentiment that you've had and i love this line what do you look like when you fall asleep because i feel like a lot of movies and stuff will make it seem like the really attractive people like sleep really beautifully and like the object of your desire is always like very peaceful and like ethereal looking when they're asleep but like i wear a night guard to bed <laughs> I do not look cute. So I really hope, <laughs> I really hope no one that I dated wondered this about me because I'm sure they were severely disappointed. But I really hope in G Idol's case that they found what they were looking for, that this person's house and the way they look when they're asleep is everything they hoped for. But all right, let's keep going. <laughs> Oh, I would be so curious. Have you ever had someone over and like hidden your K-pop stuff? <laughs> I would never. You need to love me for all of me, including my K-pop obsession. I like this more like fun one from them, you know? Or I guess light is kind of the word I was looking for. Yeah, this was, I'm really liking the range on this album. Cause sometimes like if every song on an album is like really intense or serious then it kind of brings the energy down a bit but i liked having this like light and fun one is the second last song on the album of this really simple concept of like i wonder what this person's house that i like looks like <laughs> kind of like a 
palette cleanser, which is like an underrated part of an album, I feel like. But all right, let's get into our final song of the EP here, which is Hear Me. And again, this lyric video is by K Sector. So yeah, how do we close this out? I'm very curious to know. With a song called Hear Me, hmm. This could be back, <laughs> back to the push. Because if you're saying hear me, you're implying that you're not being heard now. But let's find out. Ooh, a ballad. Ooh. Sounds very K-drama-y. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. Key change right before the chorus. That's interesting. Sujin's voice is beautiful. I mean, all his voices are beautiful, but like. I was so taken aback <laughs> by Soyeon's singing voice. Like, oh my goodness. Like, what can't she do, honestly? But like, that is a legitimate question. That's not a rhetorical question. Like, what can't she do? I feel like it's a very, very interesting choice here to end on a ballad. And it ties in the whole name of the album for me, I Am, because it feels like them making a statement about their identity, which is like, <laughs> we can do it all. We can do a banger, we can do a ballad, we can do like a pop R&B type of vibe. I can do a love song, but then I could also do a breakup song. I could do a not taking your bullshit song. They're showing so much range here in a way that feels cohesive. And it feels so heartbreaking because they're talking about wanting to tell their story and be heard and they're just not being heard. Like, uh, like the night sky has become dark. It's res It resembles me and my heart is the same. So it's become cloudy. Why can't I grab your heart? Just please listen to my story. But they've been pushed away. Oh my gosh, all this push and pull and push and pull and all these songs. Like, oh, I just want them to find happiness. I hope they do. I don't know if they will in this song though. <laughs> Let's see how it finishes. Ooh. I still can't get over their vocals. <laughs> when you didn't hold me. Hmm. Feels kind of like late 90s, early 2000s ballad. Yeah, I don't know if I've heard a ballad change keys right before the chorus. Like normally it's kind of at the end of a song. I don't know if it's like a common occurrence in K ballads. I'm not a big ballad person. You can feel the emotion. Oh my gosh. 
crush. Oh my gosh, and they're just gonna leave the album like that? Wow. Oh my gosh, this whole album was so stunning. Like every last song was so freaking good. Like none of these songs, if I were listening to it as an album, I could just like skip through. Cause you feel that running theme from song to song of like the push and the pull and the push and the pull. And in a way it would feel <laughs> weird after listening to it like this to not listen to it in order. But like, I, I'm not too sure if I have a favorite like I always have a hard time <laughs> picking a favorite immediately after listening to an album especially because I find like it takes some time to get a feel for the album as a whole and like listening to a song multiple times to get every little detail you might have missed the first time that being said <laughs> probably like the first three songs would be the ones that I would listen to the most like La Ta Ta Dollar and Maze but like I said I feel like you have to listen to this album as an album but yes to summarize my feelings on this album still just in complete shock <laughs> <laughs> this is a debut album. If you told me that this was like from 2020 or even like last year or even this year and you know it was their fourth or fifth album like I wouldn't blink an eye I would completely <laughs> believe you. So I'm just so excited to get more into this group and to dig deeper into their discography if this is what their start is like. I feel like I'm in for a ride <laughs> and I'm very excited for all of you to join me. So friends, thank you so, so much for joining me for G Idol's debut. Hope you enjoyed the video and I would love to hear your thoughts on this album. Were you a fan of G Idol since debut or even pre-debut? I would love to hear from you. So let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. I would also like to thank my patrons for making this video happen. My patrons have access to exclusive reactions every single week as well as access to my youtube schedule and behind the scenes content and then my five dollar patrons have early access to my youtube videos the ability to vote on the content of one youtube video per month and a shout out at the end of every single one of my youtube videos so an extra special thank you to my five dollar patrons who are as life katherine w katherine h chris mary r and jn Aaron M, Hope to Dust, Jazzberry, Jennifer O, JLA, Kirsten, Chris M, Leah B, Mila B, Nicey64, Rancid Barbie, Richard E, Sophia S, Tiffers, Vicos, and Xavier. If you would like to help me out and support my channel, you can visit me at patreon.com slash Lauren Claire. But until my next... But until my next video where I will be diving deeper into G Idol's discography, I hope that you are doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourself, having a good 2023 so far, and I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day.